Alright, uh, magandang araw mga kapitek. Uh, welcome po for another video. The, this time naman, ang uh, ibibigay po natin na details ay ang uh, kalalabas lamang po na DepEd Memorandum number 13 series of 2024 uh, that would provide no additional details pertaining to the conduct of the 2023 NCASH, no? And that will happen nga by uh, May 26, 2024. No? So uh, there are different uh, provisions po na naibigay dito sa uh, DepEd memo na ito. Kaya himayin po natin para sa mga, ka, ano po, mga natatanong ng iba pang mga details nitong DepEd memo na ito. Try natin na magbigay ng, uh, uh, ng uh, discussion, no? Uh, for this DepEd Memo number 13, series of 2024. All right. All right. So uh, again, no, uh, Ma Kapitek, uh, we are uh, providing you with the yung pinaka bago no na DepEd uh, Memorandum na kakarilis lang po no the, today. Itong DepEd uh, Memorandum Number 13, Series of 2024, entitled The Administration of the Fiscal Year 2023 National Qualifying Examination for School Heads. So, na-release po ito kanina. And uh, for the first provision, ay pinabanggit po dito yung mga issuances no? na kung saan naka-anchor yung pag-andak ng NCASH, also known as the Principal's Test, as one of the requirements no, for the appointment and reclassification of all aspiring applicants to the principal and assistant principal positions in all public elementary and secondary schools. So na kapabilang dito yung DepEd Order Number 97, Series of 2011, the revised guidelines on the allocation and reclassification of school head positions. Pangalawa ay ang DepEd Order Number 41, Series of 2016, the additional guidelines to DepEd Order Number 19, Series of 2016, that tells about the guidelines no, on the organizational structures and staffing patterns of standalone and integrated public senior high schools. The same manner with DepEd Order Number 7, Series of 2023, the guidelines on recruitment, selection, and appointment in the Department of Education. And finally, meron tayong DepEd Memorandum Number. 25 series of 2023, uh, the amendment to DepEd Order Number 100 series of 2022, no, and clarification on the use of NCASH or the principal test results in relation to DepEd Order Number 7 series of 2023. So, item number two specified po that uh, the examination will be on May 26, 2024. So, i-mark na po natin ang ating mga kalendaryo via a secured online platform at the designated examination site. And uh, the examination shall be administered simultaneously nationwide. No? Secured online platform, ibig sabihin nito, online yung exam, but on-site. No? Hindi po remote ito na hindi tayo pupunta sa isang lugar na magte ng exam but uh, or kanya-kanyang lugar yung, yung pag-take ng test via the online platform hindi po ganun. So you will be in one place although the examination will be online. So gagamit pa rin tayo ng ating mga laptops no for the administration of the exam. So again that will be on May 26, 2024. Ito po yung time schedule na nakalagay sa ating DepEd memo. March 6 to 15 will be the online application. March 6 to 22 will be evaluation and the validation of documents. March 27, 2024 will be the release of the final list of examinees. And May 5 will be the first mock exam. May 19 naman will be the second final mock examination. So the purpose ng mock ay i-prepare at i-check yung mga device na gagamitin ng mga examinees. Kayo po yun, will be taking the test and familiarize examinees on the online platform and process of taking the test. Okay, The guidance on the online application process through the NCASH online application system is also enclosed 
ito po sa bandang dulo ng ating DepEd Memorandum. Aspiring school heads, ito yung crucial, no? regardless of their current positions, are qualified to apply as takers of NCASH, provided that the applicants meet the qualification requirements and has acquired any of the following experience requirements as of February 29. So sa mga nagtatanong dyan kung hanggang kailan yung cut-off, ang cut-off po natin ng qualification standards niya ay February 29. Okay? One year ka dapat as head teacher. Two years as master teacher or two years as TIC or T3 for uh, five years. Incumbent public school teacher provided that you have a supervisory or managerial experience in a private institution or a uh, CHED institution, CHED recognized or DepEd recognized institution. Aggregate experience as head teacher, TIC, master teacher and T3 position. All right, so there shall be around 22,000. No? An allocation po niyan ay 22,000 examining slots distributed nationwide in each region. And sabi nga dito that uh, the details of the different uh, allocation per region will be provided in the subsequent issuances. And given the regional examining slots in anticipation of the implementation of the executive order number 174, or the expanded career progression, DepEd uh, regional offices shall refer to the following order of priority no, for consideration in the selection of their final list of examinees. So sino po ang mga priority na mabibigyan ng slot? Unang-una ay ang mga head teachers, both for the public, elementary, and secondary school, mga assistant principal na walang NCASH eligibility, mga nakaupo, no, na mga OIC, TIC for at least two years or master teacher for at least two years. So sila pong apat yung priority ngayon. In case of the remaining slots after considering item 6.8 hanggang 6.D, only then that the applications of the remaining qualified applicants shall be considered. Okay? So ibig sabihin, pwede pa rin mag-apply Alright, yung mga T3, yung mga nabanggit po dito sa ating uh, letter D na 5 years as T3, incumbent public school teacher, yan, ay pwede pa rin pong mag-apply. Ngayon, kailan mabibigyan ng slot? Kung hindi na-fill up yung total slots na yun in the division, after considering A to D, itong apat na ito na nauna, only then, Sabi niya dyan that the applications of the remaining qualified applicants shall be considered. Alright, malinaw po yun ha. Pang pito, fiscal year 2021 or the NCASH takers who belong to category B shall no longer take the exam. Uulitin na naman natin to kasi hindi po, marami pa rin po nagtatanong regarding their category. Pag category B ka from the last examination, the 2021 exam, Upon the completion of their coaching and mentoring session, they will undergo an evaluation and certification process by the NAYAP. Okay, may certification, may coaching and mentoring session na ibibigay. Okay, pag category C naman, they are not allowed to take the test for this year and are encouraged to undergo professional development intervention. Ibig sabihin po nun, Indirectly, sinasabi na kapag category si ka, marami ka pang maraming mga uh, legal basis, mga bagay-bagay na pagdating sa school management ang kailangan mo pang pag-aralan. Kaya, i-encourage na mag-undergo ka ng professional development intervention. Okay? So, guidelines na, bibigay pa ng NAYAP after. The category B naman, no? ay kapag sila ay upon completion no and uh, their coaching uh, at na certify na po pwede nang mag uh, proceed dun sa next step ng uh, ng uh, selection process for P1 sort of saying pumasa ka na bibigyan na ng certification na pumasa na nga at kaya na niyang mag-apply may nagsasabi na pagka daw na natapos yung mentoring mentoring and coaching ay ay P1 na agad. No? Hindi po ganun ang nakalagay dito sa mga naunang mga discussions natin. And of course, uh, itong depth memo na ibinigay dito. No? Certification pa lang yan no, ang ibibigay. 
Pangwalo, the examination shall cover conceptual and situational critical thinking questions aligned with the PPSSH and gagamit siya ng structure of the observed learning outcomes taxonomy as an underpinning framework. So yung pagka-phrase ng mga tanong ay naka-solo framework siya. Alright? So, ibig sabihin kung hindi ka pa ganun ka-familiar with the solo framework, you really have to double time in looking at the structure of a solo question and how the solo uh, question na yan will uh, be applied no? in anticipation doon sa mga klase ng mga tanong that you will be encountering during the exam. Okay? To determine who will qualify for the next stage of the selection process or for the P1 position, an order of merit will be used wherein the question difficulty and candidate ability shall be computed on the same scale. And this procedure identifies proficiency of the taker's understanding in becoming a school head instead of the usual pass or fail score. Ibig sabihin po dito is that magkakaroon ng hindi siya pass or fail ang makukuha but rather ang uh, magkakaroon ng order of merit doon sa uh, pag-appraise no ng, ng ating mga sagot at uh, doon maibabase no kung ang anong magiging category mo a uh, category mo either you will be belonging to category A, category B or category C. No, yun yung understanding natin diyan. Uh, and of course, the, the result will be officially communicated via a DepEd memo. No? Yan na naman. No? And emphasize po ni DepEd yung number 11. No? DepEd values the credibility and integrity of the examination. The agency is not in any way affiliated with individuals or institutions offering and providing review sessions. No? A warning is given to all applicants against individuals or organizations which claim to have access to the content of the examination. Lagi nating binabanggit yan mga kapitek that when you prepare for the exam, do not ever rely on all of this uh, hoax na yan na may mga magbibigay sa inyo, may makikita kang ganito, babayaran ka ng ganyan. It will never be you know, a very good you know, uh, assumption on your part kapag ikaw ay nagpre-prepare ng test. Ang iyong preparasyon sa pag-take ng test habang nagbabasa ka, pinag-aaralan mo yung mga kaukulang mga tepid order, Ito rin ay bahagi no, ng iyong preparasyon dahil ikaw ay natututo at sa pagkatuto mo at ikaw ay pumasa, na i-apply mo yun. No? Pwede mo itong magamit, hindi naman pwede, but exactly the way you are going to handle the school, gamit itong mga depend orders, mga legal basis, mga situational questions na iyong may encounter sa exam. Kaya... Kapag ka magre-rely ka dito sa mga mga ganyang mga modus no ng ng ito nga pinabanggit dito ay you're not really preparing yourself no kaya nga kailangan pag-aralan mo no pag-aralan mo mahirap but uh, you need to do it dahil part yan ng training no bago ka isabak sa real world ng pagiging isang school principal. Napaka lawak ng scope ng trabaho. Kaya nga importante na talagang maalam tayo sa iba't ibang mga deped orders na related po no, sa school management. Alright? Ang susunod po dito mga kapitek ay mga guidelines na lang on how you're going to prepare. So I, I, I guess uh, magkakaroon ng online application, preparing ng mga document documentary requirements you need to scan all the documents no kasama na po dyan ang original copies of the approved uh, RPMS uh, IPCR mo for the last two consecutive rating periods duly certified by the authorized personnel in the STO yan for TIC naman and HT acting as school heads the OPCRF and rating form shall be required no? so OPCRF or IPCRF depends sa position Service record duly certified by the Administrative Officer 5 of the SDO. Yeah. If applicable, no designation or special order as school head, TIC, and certification of managerial and administrative experience from deputy recognized private institutions. Okay. So ensure that the scanned documents are clear and saved in PDF format. 
Pangalawa, pag na-prepare mo na yan, you will now create an account in the NCash Online Application System or the NCash OAS. Ito po yung kanilang uh, link. Ha? And then, uh, you're required to create an account. Gamit po ang inyong official DepEd email account. Okay? Uh, the official DepEd email account may be requested for activation or creation from the respective SDO IT officer. Okay? And then you follow the steps in the user guide. And pwede mo ma-access naman dyan. Make sure that yung lahat ng information na ibibigay ay accurate and uh, changes are not allowed after creating the account. Kaya dapat uh, yung mga uh, accurate details lamang ang ibibigay. Submit the application online. No? Meron kang online guide dyan. Uh, I-download mo rin ito, no? yung applicant user guide. And please be reminded that the falsification of documents shall be subjected to investigation with grounds for grave dishonesty as stated in the CSC rules and regulations and may be banned from taking the NCASH. And of course, you monitor your application. Okay? And then, magkakaroon lang pro uh, processing of application, my SDO official review, my evaluator, and then meron ding regional review, no? Siyempre, mga ano na yan, mga officials na po natin ang titingin para dito. Okay? Uh, once the applicant is qualified, he, the application will be returned to the SDO evaluator for the processing of the examination permit. Ilan lang ipapayad? Uh, pagka nabigyan ka ng exam permit, maipiprepare mo na yung mga sumusunod. Original copy of the submitted scan documents, uh, passport size with name tag, and then uh, may examination fee na 600 pesos. Alright? Ayan. Ayan yung mga, no, you can download naman ito mga kapite kasi kakalabas nga lang dito ngayon. Uh, kinlarify lang po natin. Okay? So, babalikan ulit natin yung mga important provisions po na nabanggit dito sa ating DepEd Memo na kalalabas lang May 26, 2024 ang expected po. Kaya ngayon pa lang ay kailangan ay nakaredy na po kayo sa inyong review plan dahil may timeline na tayo. Alam nyo na kung paano or gaano ka layo yung, yung uh, time frame na ginagawa po natin para po sa inyong review. Kung gusto mong umaten ng aming technical assistance na ibinibigay po sa ating mga aspiring school heads, mag-message ka lang po sa amin at pwede ka naming tulungan via the PTEC or the Polaris Training and Education Consultancy. Good luck sa inyong lahat mga kapitek and magandang araw.